Hey everyone, and welcome to my car. Um, this morning, I've been listening to obviously my motivational stuff, which gets me pumped. And last night, I was like, man, you need to stop making excuses. You gotta fucking do it today. Stop making tomorrow your fucking thing. So I found a video that I think about all the time that I wanted, I did start to make in 2019. It was when I first wanted to make my witchcraft channel. And I made it, and then I never posted it. Never. So I went back last night, and I edited that video. Um, so I'm gonna, yeah, show you guys that video that I edited from 2019. And you guys can kind of see my growth and going back and editing it. I am like a fucking amazed with my growth. So here you guys go. Hey, I'm Sandra and you can call me Sandra. Uh, this is Sandra's reality. I hope if they didn't already take that username. I haven't made my YouTube channel um, yet. So I so can hopefully give that. you guys a backstory to me and how I got it here. How I got it here. How I got here. Um, so uh, just to my friends, like on Facebook and stuff, I wanted to kind of jump into how I got started into witchcraft, which is very, very recently. Um, so I kind of wanted to go back on how I got here in the first place and how I kind of realized that witchcraft that word scares people, so practitioner, however you want to say, um, how I started and how I realized that my life has kind of been like that this whole time, and obviously we watch Harry Potter, but I was never one that, like, I watched Harry Potter and I love Harry Potter, but I never thought, you know, it was real. I was never gonna move things across the room and do all these crazy shenanigans, um, so I knew, like, that wasn't the case. Um, so I never was in that kind of false reality of magic. I never was obsessed with it. Like I did, like, I love Harry Potter, but I just never, never thought of witchcraft. No, I never really chased it. I just, it was in movies and I totally believed in it back in the day. I didn't question it, but never looked into it. Never looked up the history. I just, I'm lazy. I just never got into it, but let me go back here. So kind of the first things that really happened in my life that were weird and what I couldn't explain were a couple things. So uh, my first one that comes to my head, uh, it was back when uh, my little brother was really little and it was probably like two o'clock in the morning or something and I wake up dead out of sleep and I go downstairs and I go into my parents' room, turn on the lights and I just look at Jonathan. My parents are like, what are you doing? Something's wrong with Jonathan like he's sleeping go back to bed and I'm like no something's wrong with Jonathan I have to figure it out so I like I touch him and he is hot like really hot so he kind of starts waking up and he starts like shivering like he's cold and I'm like something's wrong like why is he shivering but he's boiling hot like this isn't okay so I get him up take him into the living room as I sit down on the couch in the living room he starts having a seizure so my parents call 911. He starts bleh, bleh, throwing up all over. We're freaking out. He goes to the hospital. He gets to the hospital and he's fine. He's, yeah, he's fine. Anyways, that was my first experience of, and you know, you always tell yourself, tell yourself like, oh, it's your grandma or, you know, someone looking after you, which it could be. It totally could be. But that's also the universe probably helping you the fuck out. Those are possibly your gods or your goddesses or, you know, your ancestors, your obviously your grandmother, whoever it is. But I was never really someone who, I don't know. Anyway, so there is one crazy experience that I couldn't explain, but it happened for a reason. Something woke me up in the middle of the night and told me something's wrong with my little brother. So that was crazy. Uh, the other one, um, I was driving in my old... Um, Honda hatchback or maybe it was my CRX when I still had it either way, I was driving on 99 and then um, I'm behind this old uh, Subaru Outback and something in my head's like you need to get in front of this car and I'm like meh whatever brush it off and my head's like you need to get the fuck in front of this car did you freaking hear me go so I'm like all right step on the gas and I hurry up and get in front of this car swerve over 
And as I get over, I look in my rear view. There goes his freaking tire off of his freaking car. Flies off. So if I were still behind him, like the tire went and then all the way back across the road, like I would have been fucked. Excuse my language. Sorry, you do. This is who I am. But yeah, so that's another thing. Was it my grandma? Was it the universe? Was it the gods and goddesses, your deities? Who knows? But something had me. So there's another thing that I couldn't explain. And I have, um, I've never really been religious. Religious. I do not like rules. I do. I do not like structure. That's who I am. I don't like people telling me what to do, how I should act. Uh, damnation, hell, the devil. I don't like it. Um, but my father studied to be a priest when he was younger, which was super crazy. But he never, like, push, push. But he, like, like, I remember when I, I did get my first tattoo when I was very young. But when I showed him, because I kind of got it for him, he was like, well, that's not very godly of you. <laughs> I got a few. <laughs> Anyways. Um, and so I also had a have. I have an older sister that uh, pretty much forced me to get baptized when I was younger. Because she was trying to get in good with her mother-in-law. Which people do things. And I got baptized and I never went to church ever again after that. <laughs> um, well, that's a lie. We'll get to that. Um, and then, so, though, that's another thing that was just really weird. Um, I also have always been an empath and I've always so been clairvoyant. I've always had dreams or weird visions. Um, obviously that the car was a clairvoyant. I had a, like, feeling like, I don't remember if I saw anything just because I wasn't in tune at that time. Um, but I also pick up on people. So the more I'm around you, the more I can pick up on your thoughts. But I also can go into a supermarket at lunchtime and feel all the frantic people just wanting to get back to work because they're on break. Um, I feel everything. Um, but yeah, if I'm with you more and more, I can actually read your thoughts. But none of these thoughts come in as yours. They come in as mine. So it's really hard to filter if it's mine or not. So sometimes I'm like, why the fuck am I thinking that? And then, um, cause we all have this power. We all do. Cause how many times do you like, have you experienced like you're with your best friend or whatever and you both like almost say something at the same time and you're like, Oh, I was just thinking that it's cause you guys are picking up on your brain waves. You're picking up on those energies. We're all energy. Um, anyways, going back to where I was, uh, I used to work as a commercial residential painter. So I was working at the airport, um, painting the outside of the airport and, I was with my coworker Johnny, which I'm really close with Johnny. He's awesome. Anyways, uh, so he, I like, I wasn't looking at him. I'm just painting this wall, I was painting the cracks of the stucco on the side of the airport, and all of a sudden I start thinking, "Oh, you can handcuff me." And I'm like, "Why the fuck am I thinking that?" And I look over at Johnny, and then I look at Johnny where Johnny's looking, and Johnny's looking out behind him out at the fucking turf and he's checking out one of the airport security and I look I'm like Johnny what are you thinking about being frisked and handcuffed by that airport security right now he's like get the fuck out of my head and I was like oh my god I really can fucking read minds like I've always known that I can like feel shit but Johnny I just heard what you were thinking you just confirmed. I like when this started happening. I, I honestly was having panic attacks for a while because, like, I can feel people's heart like racing. I can feel when people get like nervous and they get in their cheeks or they're like they're angry. Like I can feel everything. So it almost got it almost it did get very overwhelming and to the point where I like I would have anxiety attacks and I didn't want to go into the store at lunchtime to go feed myself because I would feel everyone else so there was a point where I did shut everything off turned it off which I kind of regret because I'm still not quite to where I was I'm kind of happy about that because I'm not getting overwhelmed um but I did for a while not 
hear or feel anything, which was kind of shitty now that I realize. But um, <clears throat> I have just always had the power to feel and see. I definitely, um, before my older brother passed away, I had dreams about how I needed to give him his birthday present, that something was going to happen and I need to, like, I even, like, I woke up for the longest time, like, you need to go see him, you need to go give him a birthday present, you need to go make him smile, and I never, I, I didn't, and unfortunately he passed away right before our birthday. My birthday is October 19th, his is October 20th, so I spent my whole life having my birthday with him and then the dreams kept telling me because my family's not very close um but I really wish that I could have made him smile one last time um but yeah I had dreams about that I had dreams before my father passed away um I have random dreams that happen all the time the deja vu the um yeah dream it happens and some will happen the next day some will happen like a year later so I don't really have control of that um but yeah there's just there's plenty of things that in my life that have happened that I couldn't explain at all I'm sure I'm missing something what else did I want to talk about oh I've also always had a um I love my crystals I love my rocks I've been a rock hound my whole life <clears throat> Sorry, I've been a rock hound my whole life, and when I am rock hounding, I always can feel that I'm drawn to the rocks. Like, oh, excuse me, I just ate, had a burp. Um, I will feel myself literally being drawn to the rocks. Like, I won't even, and then I'll just like look straight at it, which also can be my clairvoyance of like where I, knowing before and like seeing where I need to go beforehand, which happens a lot. Like, I lose things a lot. And so, like, I'll have, like, quick little visions, like, oh, that's where it is. Um, or I, like, have no idea where something is, but then all of a sudden I go straight to where it is. Um, so, yeah. Uh, there's definitely plenty of crazy little things. So, I started, um, the first few times that I went to Saturday Market, there was this girl that, uh, would read poems or do your reading, whatever it was. But I always was so drawn to her. I felt like she was calling me, but I either didn't have the money or I was with someone who wouldn't want to wait for me to get done, you know, so I never did it. And then I finally started working at the Saturday market and she wasn't there. So I was just like, oh, I really, I want, I want a reading. I really do. And then I was on um, one of these groups on Facebook and then someone was offering to read cards. So I was like, do me, do me. And she read my card, which was months ago. Um, and she said, she pulled the card that said that I needed to be closer to my spirituality, whether that be religi religious or just spiritual, I need to get closer to it. And being pushed on religion when I was younger, I was like, and I brushed it off. Cause like, I'm not, I don't meditate. Um, I'm just really lazy. I used to have really bad emotional problems and I'm being more in tune with myself and obviously the more that I am learning about my practice and the universe and our energies, I'm actually getting a lot better and I've also rid myself of relationships and I'm focusing, focusing on myself, which I haven't really done so it's really good for me um, and I've like my nose is really itches sorry allergies it's like oh, real killing me so yeah she told me i need to get closer to my spirituality and i just i didn't i really didn't and then i had this terrible dream um recently and i've never really prayed i've prayed a couple times but they were over some really sad stupid shit um but I woke up from this dream and I was like sick to my stomach and I didn't want to think about it anymore. So I, I, cause I had been watching all of these videos about, um, uh, witchcraft I and just started watching witchcraft videos cause I was bored. And then the more and more I watched it, the more and more that it made sense. And it just like, Duh! like, holy shit, this whole time it's just been staring at me and like, you see Catholicism and like Christianity and all and um like 
Hinduism and like I'll just think about all these different religions and think about all the rituals that they do think about all the chants and like everything that they do the robes like what you're all doing a a spell or a cleansing like what you're dipping your whole body in holy water that's a cleansing you're but no it's not witchcraft Mm -mm. It's dark and scary. No, you do it in a in a holy place that brings you above others. For whatever they like to think. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, all yeah, their robes, all of the baptism, like they're like warding out evil spirits and you're your exorcisms and stuff like it's all witchcraft it really is and whether yes you can call it your own religion because there are there is like Christian witches you know there's your pagans there's your Wiccans there's all different types I consider myself eclectic because I don't do well with rules so I couldn't ever see me doing Wicca because there's all the holidays and all that that's putting on within you go with the days and the moons and I'm just not that committed I'm lazy I am. I, I'm obviously, I'm a Libra and I'm, I'm an empath. So I like to really just be my myself and get rid of everything that I deal with during my day at work or whatever. Cause I just get drained really easy, unfortunately. And I like to nap. <laughs> um, but I just like everything around us. I don't like, growing up, I used to go hunting a lot, and I used to gather a lot. We used to go mushroom picking and go moss picking and uh, go pick those little leaf bundles that are, like, you see in roses and stuff. Like, we were super outdoorsy. Uh, really, we were just slaves to make my father money. But I didn't realize that back then, and I was having a great time. So, we're going to stick to that. <laughs> uh, but I, I was definitely outdoors a lot when I was a child, which I absolutely loved. I loved being out there and then after my parents split up and then I just didn't go outside as much. I've obviously tried to go rock counting and stuff, but I really did lose myself and back to another side of the deep depths of me. So I've always been super spiritual. I've had paranormal experiences when I'm little, when I'm little, when I was little, um, I definitely felt and saw kind of shadows when I, like it wasn't I didn't, it was definitely, like, what I saw was more like, you know, like, the fumes you see, like, from gases or whatever. Like, that's kind of what I saw. Like, it wasn't, like, dark really there, but it was, like, you can tell something was there. And so, uh, I just, ever since I was nine years old, I remember that was, like, my first experience I fucking... Was suicidal at nine years old before I even knew what it was or I didn't have any fucking problems but there I was going into the kitchen and grabbing a butter knife because I knew I wasn't allowed to touch the real knives and I start hacking at my, my wrist like it's gonna fucking do anything anyway but anyways uh yeah I've been uh not anymore but I was very suicidal for most of my life um until about three years ago um and it was very bad. I woke up every day. I used to call it wasps in my brain because it literally felt like things were like jumping and bouncing off my skull and it would just be static noise. So I called it wasps in my brain. And I literally would wake up every day and just, it's not like anything was wrong. I just didn't want to be alive. There was no point to life, which yes, sometimes there's no point, but whatever. Um, I just woke up every day. This is my new bell. Oh, uh, I woke up every day and I really, I always wanted to bash my head into something. I would have nightmares all the time of bashing my head into things. Like I'd be bloody and I just couldn't die. And I'd be asking, you know, my family and my loved ones if I could please, can I just die? I just want to die. And they'd be like, no, you can't. It's selfish. Blah, blah, blah. And I would just be bashing and bashing and bashing my head. And so I would think about this all day, every day for years until about three years ago. And 
that was my my tipping point uh i up and was like i'm quitting my job i'm gonna sell my car pay off my car and i'm just gonna kill myself like i'm done this is all pointless boo hoo um and then my boss ended up he's like will you see a counselor and i was like because he definitely knew shit was wrong um and i was like Sure, if you leave me alone, I'll see a counselor once, but then I don't want to hear anything ever again. And so he's like, okay, let's go right now. I'm like, what? He's like, let's go right now. And so I thought we were driving to a doctor. He pulls up to a church, which is a church in my hometown, which I know. Uh, so I was like, I instantly got sick to my stomach. I was like, really? But I promised, and I keep my promises most of the time so I go into the church and I meet the priest and I feel sick to my stomach I want to puke bad <laughs> and I start sweating hard and then um, I had been telling him everything about my fucking life everything I've gone through all the problems that I've had with my family and father and blah 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 blah, blah. and He's like, can I try something really fast? And I'm like, sure. So he tells me that he wants me to say in my head that, um, you know, what's ever there, you aren't allowed there, you aren't welcome, you need to leave, all the negative thoughts in my head need to leave, all the bad things need to leave, all the evil things need to leave. And I am like, I really gotta puke, but I was like, self-control, you don't gotta puke. I'm like, it's in your head, don't do this. And he's like, it's getting worse and worse. And I start sweating bad. And I'm in my old, con my work construction clothes. So I'm in like full sweatshirt and then a shirt and then a tank top underneath. And I'm in my, uh, I had like coveralls on and then I had my car hearts and my boots. So I'm, I'm in a lot of clothes. And so I'm hot. And then um, it's like not working. And I start like, he can see that I'm sweating. He's like, can I try something really fast? I don't make sure. And he walks over to me, grabs my head, and starts speaking in some tongues, and I start shaking. <laughs> like, bad. And he's like, now say it out loud. Like, out loud, you need to tell it to go away. And then we're having this experience, and I feel something holding on to my soul, not wanting to let go, and then finally it rips. And I felt amazing, better than I've ever felt in my whole life. And it was it was crazy. I started hysterically laughing after it happened. And then I was like, you're crazy. And then he was like, look in the mirror. And I, <laughs> I looked at myself and I've never seen myself like that before. I looked completely different and I liked who I saw, which was crazy. And I just smiled and he's like, don't you look different? And I was like, I do. And I should have got what its name was, the demon or evil or whatever that was inside me. I never figure out who it was. Um, but I wish I did. Um, but yeah, I've had a priest do an exorcism on me. So that was super crazy. Another experience. I'm still not a believer in God, that bearded man, but I do believe in the universe and the energies, the powers. I've been slightly getting into deities and old goddesses and goddesses, gods and goddesses, because I really... I do believe in past lives and ancestors, and I don't believe in that one... I don't believe in the bearded man. I don't. Um, <laughs> so, I, like, I've been... I've always been drawn to, like, Vikings and Celtic uh, religions, Odin, obviously Freya. Uh, those have always been super great to me, but then I have just recently um, was... Um, I bought all of my witchcraft stuff. I went to the store because I, oh, I gotta get back to my story. There's so much to talk about. We're going to stop here. We're going to stop here. I don't know where to stop, but we're going to stop here because I'm just never going to stop talking. I'll make a new video here soon, a part two. So thank you for listening. Um, where I, um, getting started, definitely, um, the videos that I watched a lot were um, The Witch of Wonderlust. She's amazing. She's so open. She's so kind. She gives you a lot of information and she's just like me. There's no 
there's no right way to do things. You don't need all of these things to do your practice. You just need intention. You just need you and what you believe in and make sure you believe in yourself and what you manifest. And you guys have a great day and I'll see you soon. <laughs> all right. Hello, my babies. So I see that I have a lot more video. Ooh. So I'm going to make a part two. So this is part one. I'm going to go edit part two and that will be posted later. So I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my weird experiences that I've had. If you've had any weird, similar experiences, calm down, blah, blah, blah. comment down below because I totally want to fucking hear them because they're exciting, they're fun, they're cool, and more people need to hear about it and, like, register, like, all the bad shit that's happening, all, like, like everything that we go through is all part of a path, all right? So, yeah, let me know. Like this video, share the video if you think that other people need to see it. Maybe subscribe, hit the bell if you want to know every time I post. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Love you guys. See you later. Bye.